Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, Pacific the Casual Gamer podcast, I know it's original name, and this is the first episode, and I'm here with my friend Ragnar. He's a gamer, just like the rest of us. So Rag... Um, no I'm not. Yeah. I only play Clash of Clans. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a joke. Yeah, so um, if you're watching on YouTube, we're just playing Call of Duty. I'm playing without sound, so I can get his voice in here. Uh, if you're on Anchor... Just sit back, relax, listen while you're jogging or, I don't know, doing whatever you do. I use this and stuff when I'm cleaning. But, Rag, so, my first question for you today is what is your favorite game? Yeah. Let's start with that. So, Skyrim. Skyrim. What makes Skyrim your yeah. favorite game? That's just a, so much to do, even without mods. Like, you can think you did everything. Mm -hmm. And so many choices you can make. Oh, yeah. There's a lot in Skyrim. God, that sounds like such yeah. a cringy fucking... <laughs> this this podcast is off to a great... It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. I agree. And uh, what's your favorite game to play right now? This game. This game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, baby. And what makes it like the game that you just like to play right now? It just has like old time god feeling. Yeah. Like Modern Warfare 1 or 2. Except for the sound. Yeah. And the map design. <laughs> Reminds me of Seed. <laughs> That's great. So, um, a question I have for you is when was like your first um, experience with games? Mm. That's um, a tough question. We think, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to say Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, for, that was what for the Nintendo? Yeah. That one? Yep. Man. How old were you when you started playing that? Yeah, you know what? Like, six or seven. Dang. Your parents yeah. don't care about the freaking M rated crap. No. Or, I don't yeah, know. I was like with my cousins and his friend who was playing, trying to beat the game. Oh. Yeah, um, mine was Halo, and I was three. Mm. <laughs> I didn't play Halo too. I forgot yeah. about that. I feel like that's yeah. a lot of people's first game, like Halo and something on like an old console, because the freaking older brother plays the new console. That was my situation. <clears throat> All right, what's your favorite console? Xbox. Xbox. Which one? Yeah. There's so many great ones to choose from. That's yeah. not the Xbox one. The original Xbox. <laughs> the original one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, because the Xbox one, like, it, it the, remember when it started as like a, remember the TV, the TV cable for it? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then. People figured out they could just hook the Xbox 360 up with the TV cable. Do you remember that? Back in like 2013. <laughs> Dude, it was great. I remember watching that and I'm like, wow, Microsoft, what have you done? Yeah, I mean, so I suck at interviewing. I honestly do. I have like, I have no, no other prepared. I actually have no prepared questions for you. Guys, Austin's like my my best xbox friend and i suck at interviewing yeah, like you. we know everything we know everything let's talk about siege so siege for you and me has been a pretty big game <clears throat> like i'd say yes. if you look at the time that we've played together it's been like 99 percent siege yep so what do you think is like when you and me are playing what do you think creates like the best moments hmm yeah, when it's a 1v5. When it's a 1v5? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... I came to clutch your kick. <laughs> I came to clutch your kick. And then, oh, good, the my, my yeah. cat's on the table. I'm gonna throw a water bottle in. Oh, good, he's gonna play with it. Thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Yeah, so, like, for the viewers here, let's say, um... Let's say you... Last one's up top. You're the 1v1, Right? You're the guy doing the 1v5. Yeah. How would I act while I'm watching mm. you? Tell him how I'd act. You'll be silent. 
so give me the comms and whatnot and go out. Yeah, and how about how would you yeah. act if I was in the one v five? Not being very helpful, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I feel like sometimes though, when I'm like the guy who's dead watching you, I'm just like, oh, 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 like a you know oh, like yeah. an old I lady when too. they're watching sports. <laughs> Oh, and you used to have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. You want to tell them about uh, Potato Plus a Thousand? I, <laughs> I do not. You don't? <laughs> do you want me to? Yeah, you can. All right, so um, Austin started a channel. Um, this is actually how we met. Was I was streaming Skyrim. He used his channel, commented on my Skyrim live stream. And what happened... What, by the oh. way, guys, Austin, we're doing 2v2 on Call of Duty. He's at 100 health. The other guy was at 8, oh. and Austin died. So, anyways, we were playing. I didn't expect him to crouch down. <laughs> we were, I was so. streaming Skyrim. He was commenting. Yeah, he did do duck under your bullets. Um, And then Austin had his channel, and it was like gaming, and he used the potato camera, which was no screen recording. Where it's a cell phone. Is self a cell phone. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was a camera. You just point the cell phone at the TV. Or towards the end of his career as a YouTuber, he used yep. the most laggiest computer recording software in the world. <laughs> you remember that? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I do. through sheer willpower and force and commenting, he took his YouTube channel and grew it to 1,000 subscribers. And right before it grew to 1,000 subscribers, PewDiePie did his thing where... Um, he was like, I'm going to delete my channel at, like, whatever million subscribers. And Austin said he was going to delete his channel at 1,000, and he actually deleted it. And we met, uh, the first time we met was uh, me and him. We added each other. And then I beat him in a Black Ops 2 1v1, and then never talked to him for, like, yeah, six months. That's the only time he played. <laughs> Until I got Xbox One. Yeah. yeah, 360 days. Well, actually, no, the Xbox One was out. Mm-hmm. And we've done, um, we've made some videos together. Mm -hmm. Done Siege. I actually think it's only Siege, yep. if I'm live not mistaken. Streams. Oh, live streams. PUBG. Lots of, lots, oh, yeah. of, lots of PUBG. Oh, yeah. Where, um... Yeah, lots of upvotes. Oh, my God. D-Live. I forgot. I honestly forgot about that. Um, so, in case you guys don't know, there's, like, this blockchain thing. And... It's uh, this blockchain called Steam, and someone made an app on it called DLive, and it's just live streaming, and you can get money out of it in really shady ways. And me and Austin would stream on it like every day and try to get the upvote. I think I actually made about two thousand dollars off that. And I never got my money. And back. you never got your money. <laughs> I even paid you. I even gave you. I sent yeah. you the money, and you never you got it, dude. Yeah. And then I, I used that money to Don't talk about launch. The the Twitch. Channel. Oh, and the, <laughs> the, the, septums. the septums. Austin could never get septums working. He added this point system on his Twitch channel. It was septums. He never got them working. Yeah, that was great. I never got my septums for being a lifetime viewer. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty good gaming. Um, what do you think, mm -hmm. actually? It's a good question. These are just all questions I'm, I'm like, BSing you with right now. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, what do you think is, like, the worst part of the gaming industry that isn't loot boxes? Because I feel like that would be everyone's go-to is when the loot boxes. Yeah. Um, when they, when they release half-finished games. Oh. What, what do you think is the worst half-finished? Battlefield, half -finished? Battlefield, 5. Battlefield 5, yes, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I don't even know if that was even... Ha I don't even know if you could classify it as half-finished. Like, maybe... A quarter? Man, that... That's a good game. What about Battlefront 2? Oh, it was a decent game. Yeah, I like it the gameplay of it. Go. It's good if it could have. Oh, yeah. They finally added more characters, and now no one plays it. Yeah, now it's that's a lie. Lots of people play it. Oh really? I didn't know that. Is there any games you're excited for? 
Like, I'm excited for uh, when Civ Six comes out. We can nuke everybody on Xbox. Um, yeah. Civ Six. Civ Six. We also be mod. Yeah. Because yeah, I think what we were Civ excited. Revolution. Revolution, yeah. <laughs> Nuking oh. each other in the revolution. Mm. I think we were just excited for MW, Outer Worlds, and uh, Civ, right? We were both just excited for yeah. that. Well, that was awkward silence, and uh, I honestly don't yeah. even I don't even have that anything else to ask. Honestly, I can't I can't think of anything else to say. God. So long as. <laughs> Stellaris. Oh, and trying. Yeah. So, me and Austin in Stellaris, it's a space strategy game, attempted to make the uh, Star Wars Trade Federation. And when we were on the brink of greatness, like we were, the game file corrupted. Yeah. And you know what Austin said? He said, at least we got good practice. <laughs> That's what he said. That was, <laughs> you remember that? And it, I do. it did take the pain away. The fact that we just lost like 20 hours of progress. Oh my God. Remember you setting up war demands? Yeah, yeah, he didn't understand how to set up war demands. And he ended up going to war with these people. And it was a big war. And the only thing Austin got out of it was like bragging rights. <laughs> I was doing so and then the next, no, the next one was he got a system, and it was the capital of the person he didn't even attack. It was like an alliance, and it was across the galaxy. Both the left side. Yeah, we, we're playing uh, COD while we're making this. Mm. So where do you live, Austin? Let's give the people sense where South you live. Carolina. South Carolina, and I live in Washington. And what hobbies do you do besides gaming? Fishing. Fishing. What's fishing your f- every day. Fishing. Do <laughs> no you wish. actually fish every day? I wish, but no. Oh. And uh, you want to tell people about the other hobby that you do? With uh, <laughs> the great Sam Walton? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's the best place you can have a job at. <laughs> a great community. Especially when you live in a ghetto town. You meet so many people. And they talk to you, even though you don't want to talk to them. <laughs> what is this place yeah. that you're talking about? Um, it begins. It's a two syllable place. Oh, wait. wait. They could fire you <laughs> off of that, right? I don't think so. All right. Go ahead. And <laughs> keep going. It's a two, on two syllable place. Um. <laughs> yeah. What letter does it start start with? Oh, I thought that was a like, Kyoto. It's Walmart. <laughs> it's Walmart. It's the best place. You can and where do I work? Yeah. The same the place. The same place, <laughs> dude. Oh. I gotta say, what is the weirdest customer you've ever had to interact with at Walmart? Um. So this lady wanted fellow paint, and it showed her the fellow paint. And she didn't understand that you can't use um, normal paint for like walls. Oh, really? Is that like, oh, well, Can I just use? Yeah. Oh no. How long did it take you to explain it to her? It took two guys. Put another guy. No. <laughs> yeah. And she finally caught on. She finally. That latex paint would like um um what we call it, like scratch up and. Oh. Get kicked up if you just walk on it with shoes and whatnot. Dude. I feel like at Walmart, I mean, I don't know if you get this at your Walmart, but like 90% of the people at mine are just normal ass people. Mm-hmm. Then yeah. there's like 9% of those really nice people. And then there's the 1% mm-hmm. of like just jerks. Like, yeah. <laughs> I asked someone today, I was like, so what are you doing for Halloween? And he looked at me, he's like, why? Like, mm. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I just, yeah. <laughs> and the people of Walmart exist. Guys, the people of Walmart exist. 
Mm-hmm. It's just not something you see online. No. <laughs> it's you can if you stand in Walmart long enough. Actually, you know what? My first yeah. day there, someone's dog took a crap in one of the aisles. That was my first yeah. day at Walmart. I know this one day this dog got in. <laughs> so when are y'all looking for the dog? So I could poop it poop. <laughs> no. I'm like, hey, dog, dog. Yeah, I'm walking around the back, walking to each department. Oh, no. What are you doing? I'm looking for the dog. <laughs> Dude, so I got, I got this thing. I'm one of the only male cashiers there, right? In fact, yeah. I am in the morning shift. I am the only young male cashier. And so, you know what I get every once in a while? Mm. I get, hey, Jared, our courtesy associate is on break right now. Can you help this lady carry her stuff out? And it's kind of funny, because, like, I almost feel like it's just because I am a guy, but I don't mind it. Like, sometimes um, I watch him do that with the ladies there, too. Like, they're totally, like, sexual profiling, but, like, no one cares, Mm -hmm. because we all just go there for the paycheck. Yeah. It's interesting. Does that happen at your Walmart, too? Yeah. Oof. But I'm assuming no one cares, because... They're safe for the paycheck. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude, I gotta tell you. um, Actually, I gotta ask. I'm curious. What's, like, your best customer? Um, this old white dude that comes in from time to time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's nice and polite. You know what's funny? And all that good stuff. Hmm. That's the same exact person. That is like my best customer, is the the old nice and polite white dudes. Yeah. It's interesting that Walmart does that. Well, I mean, I don't know. Do you have anything else to add? Anything you want to say? Anything you want to promote? Hmm. Oh yeah, how you guys? The beginning guys out there, stay single. <laughs> Your friends need you. Yeah, Austin may have become my number two because I found a number one female. It actually, just the other day, I was like, Austin, you want to play Call of Duty? And we were playing Call of Duty and I had to cut it short because she wanted to go get Baskin Robbins. You remember that? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's Austin's life advice is stay single. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do, like, the Walmart talk show. Is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to? <laughs> um, shout-out to my manager, Janet, for being the only good management that we have. Oh, Janet. <laughs> oh. Dude, wait, are you actually serious? Yeah. She was the only good one. Dang. Back right. Is she, is she gone now? Or is she still there? She's still. Nice. Yeah, she was out because she had an injury. <laughs> but mm. she's back now. Nice. So it's good. Yeah. Oh, and then, um, do you have any social media that anyone can follow you on if they want to? Or are you off the Does grid? Does Facebook count? I mean, not Facebook. I mean, um, YouTube. Not music. What am I trying to say? Cause <laughs> Xbox? This. Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Is that social media? <laughs> yeah, sure. Dude, I-, I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox made, like, Xtube or something like that. Um, yeah, there's Austin's gamer, let me, let me pull him up, let me pull up Austin's gamer tag for you guys, um, it is Ragnar Blurp, oh, I like how my face cam's in the way, let me go and take it off right now, uh, Ragnar Blurp, um, R-A-G-H-N-A-R space B-L-R-P, and you can add him on Xbox and send him messages and be like, hey, Hey, with two Y's, slide into the DMs with Rag. Um, that's really it. This is like the first real podcast. It sucked, sort of. I mean, I had a good. I don't know. Did you have fun? I had fun. I did. Talking about video <laughs> games and Walmart, dude. I like how like half the podcast was Walmart. <laughs> oh my god! All right, that's it, guys. Um. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, it's going your side. Tell us in the comments below. 
If you guys have any questions for me or Austin, oh, name drop, he's Rag, Austin, same person, feel free to drop in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, this is Rag, and uh, we'll see you guys later.